In this Scanner Master video, we're going to go over updating the firmware for your unit in Bearcat BCD325P2 or your BCD996P2. Um, you can also follow these uh, steps that are in this video for any of your older XT scanners as well. What we need to do is download the firmware loader, which we're going to click this link here. It takes a few moments to download. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to open the folder. And then we're going to open this folder. And then we're going to do setup. So I'm going to click here. And then once you open that, you're going to hit run. Should only take a few moments to load. And then once it's uh, done, you're going to hit close. Now that we have the firmware loader installed on our computer, we can now open the software. So what you want to do is go to the start menu, programs, and then click on Uniden. There'll be a folder there. And then we'll open the BCVUP3 folder. And then we'll double click on the software. Um, it'll load the software. It only takes a couple of seconds to load, as you can see. And if you take a look here, it's going to have the firmware for a whole bunch of radios, including the XT scanners, um, even the 125AT, the 996P2, XT15, 15X, um, even the BC246T. So if you have any of these older radios, you can update the firmware. Uh, today we're going to do the BCD325P2. Now the latest firmware version, as you can see in the background, is uh, 1.07.07. .07. So that is the firmware edition that we're going to do today. So what you'll need to do is select that, hit next, all right, at this point, uh, we need to turn on the scanner, which I'm doing right now. And then hit OK. And then we want to auto detect the scanner. So what you want to do is you want to connect up the USB cable to the scanner and an available uh, USB port on your computer. Once that's done, hit auto detect. It looks like we're connected to COM port 23. So we'll hit OK. And then we will press Next. All right, very important here. You want to make sure that you do not power off the radio or unplug the cable from the radio to the computer. Interrupting the uh, firmware loading could cause a huge issue with the scanner. So make sure everything's connected and don't power down. So we're going to hit Start. This should take a couple of moments. What it's doing is downloading the software into your scanner, and then what it'll do is it'll install it in the scanner. All right, looks like we're all set. So what's gonna happen is your scanner is going to power down once um, this is done. You can power up your scanner and you'll have the latest firmware installed on your scanner. Make sure you subscribe to Scanner Master on YouTube and follow Scanner Master on all of our social media platforms. Visit us online at scannermaster.com.